we built this really cool app that works in a little mobile screen. It's a web app. It opens up in a browser on a mobile phone. Since it's a web app, it's also accessible via desktop. Big ass screen or on a projector or something massive. So you need to have it designed for that larger screen. We're going to do this, have different designs for different screen sizes, but that just takes a while. So first what we're going to do is just make it so that if you're on a desktop, we we take instead of redesigning this little app to fit your whole screen, we just put the we put a little iframe, a little little a little iPhone image on your screen and put the app inside that. So the rest of the screen real estate will just be background color and it'll look and feel just like it would if you're actually accessing it on your phone. So that's what we're doing today. First let me illustrate the problem. Here's our mobile app on a desktop browser. It looks a little bit wonky. Things are spaced out too far. This is, you know, it's just the width of a mobile app and it should sort of take up the whole width of the screen. And here it still looks a bit weird, uh, but once you log in, then you really start to see that the pattern, does not, mobile design does not work for desktop. The slide out menu just doesn't, just doesn't work right. So we can do two things. We can redesign this whole thing for desktop, or we can just, in the interim, create a little window into sort of emulate the phone on the, on the desktop browser itself. It'd be a little window into a mobile app, which is what we're going to do. Here we are in the entry point of our app, app.coffee. We do a check. This is a function we wrote, get viewport width, that essentially just grabs the width and pixels of the browser window. If that is greater than 400 pixels, we create two DOM elements, an outer div and an inner iframe. The iframe loads the index.html, which is the, the primary HTML file for this app, which is would then load this app.coffee again which would then come back through here and see that, oh, now that the iframe is smaller than 400 pixels, it would proceed on loading the rest of the app within the iframe. And then we have some styles that we apply. iframe, uh, this is the outer div. It loads as a background image, the iPhone SVG. And we do some positioning and some sizing uh, to get it to center and to be the emulate as close as we can the screen size of an iPhone. So let's have a look. Here we are. Now if you come to the app you see it like you would if you were using an iPhone. Which is a nice interim solution until we get a full-fledged desktop design built for this bad boy. Cool. Thanks for watching.